Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash, which means in the Hebrew language, all praises to the Most High, his true name is Yahweh, in the name of his son, whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai, Rakakodash means Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well through the scriptures, peace to the hopeful elect, I was reading and I came across uh, a scripture in uh, 1 Kings, Chapter 8, verse uh, 41. And without understanding, this will seem confusing and it will seem contradictory, you know. So I'm going I'm to go over it. It says, uh, this is King Solomon praying over the congregation after uh, dedicating the temple of the Lord, praying over the, ch the, the, the children of Israel, right? So this is what he says. Moreover, concerning a stranger that is not of thy people, Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, Right. So when you read that verse, it's like, wait a minute, that's involving heathens or that's involving others. But we'll go into it. It says, uh, moreover, concerning the stranger that is not of thy people, Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm when he shall come and pray toward this house. So let's jump to Numbers 15 and 16. Because when the Bible says stranger, it's not necessarily always talking about someone of a uh, of another seed, someone outside of the seed of Israel. It can, depending on the, um, the circumstance, and many times it's, it's talking about the the nation of Israel. This sometimes it's not. Okay, this is uh numbers. What I say, numbers fifteen, and I'm gonna read fifteen. Chapter 15, verse 15, it says, One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation and also for the stranger that sojourneth with you, an ordinance forever in your generations as ye are. So shall the stranger be before Yahweh. One law and one manner shall be for you and for the stranger, stranger that sojourneth with you. So only the Israelites is under the law. So this talking about this is talking about a stranger that is not born in Israel that's, that that came to Israel. So sometimes when you go into the word stranger, it's these different words. Uh, uh, gar, that's one. Or uh, Gayar, Gayar. They say, join a temporary inhabitant, a newcomer lacking inherited rights. Of foreigners in Israel, basically, Let's say uh, I lived in another country, but I was my, my, my father. Like you got people now, like let's say my father was born in Mexico, but I was born in America. So when I come to Mexico, I would be a stranger. I would be a foreigner. Though my seed line goes back to my father, which was from Mexico, but I don't have no possession in Mexico. I don't have no, no, no land. Or, or nothing of that nature. So it's saying one law and one manner shall be for you and for the stranger that shall join it among you. Only the Israelites is under the law. So the, the, the Bible letting you know, like, look, this is the seed of Israel too. So don't treat them, don't do them this type of way just because they wasn't born in this land. They still, they still Israelites. I still, uh, they still part of my chosen. All right. So this is uh, Leviticus Leviticus chapter 17, verse 8. It says, And thou shalt say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers which shall join, shall join among you, that offereth a burnt offering or a sacrifice, and bring it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the, tabernacle of the congregation to offer it unto Yahweh. Even that man shall be cut off from among his people. So the stranger is included. So the stranger is the Israelite. So it's so if the that that goes back to the example I said earlier. Uh, the Lord is fell. You know, just because he wasn't born in this land, or just because uh, you know what I'm saying, he was he was born over here. If he come back. And serve me, he still got a he still got a place, and you got to treat. And, and what what applies to him applies to you. So, how if a strange if he not an Israelite, 
How he gonna be cut off from his people? This said, this said, and thou shalt, verse 8, and thou shalt say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers which sojourn among you that offereth the burnt offering or sacrifice, and bringeth it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation to offer it unto Yahweh, even that man shall be cut off from among his people. That's, that's talking to the stranger too. So the stranger is of the people of Israel. They're just foreign. All right. Now, let's go jump to Psalm chapter. Uh, let's go to Psalm 50 and 5. Because it said, it's talking about the Israelites and the strangers offering sacrifices. It says, gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So who are the saints of the Lord? The, the, those that made a covenant with him by sacrifice. Who did the Lord make the covenant with? This is who the Lord made the covenant with. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, Deuteronomy 26 and 17. Thou has avouched the Lord this day to be thy God and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. And the Lord hath avouched thee this day, that word avouched. Uh. To answer, to say in one's heart, to think, to command, Amar, to command, to be told, to say it, to avow, to answer, to appoint. And the Lord hath appointed, answered, avowed thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he had promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. So the Lord appointed us, the Israelites, to be his peculiar people. Okay, now when you jump... And the Lord is not a man that he should lie, and the Lord don't change. And people will say things like that, and, and people, that'll come out of someone's mouth, but it, it'll be a contradictory statement, because look at this. It says, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, so, so where is equality? So now everybody equal? Or so now that the now the strangers can come in? No, that's not what that means because that would that would negate this scripture. That would say that this is no longer in effect, or we're not above everyone else. Alright? So this is uh oh yeah, going back to uh first Kings eight and forty two. For, for, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm. He shall come and pray toward this house. Hear thou in heaven th thy dwelling place and do according to all that the stranger called to thee for that all people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee as do thy people Israel and that they may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. So Solomon was praying for the strangers. Solomon wasn't praying for... Uh, why would Solomon pray for the Philistines? Now, the Philistines was a, was a nation that, uh, that was vexing Israel. The Lord was delivering us out of their hands, but the Philistines, was, which come from an African nation, was a great enemy in the days of, in, in the days of his father, King David. So why would he, why would he pray for them? That don't, that, don't, that don't make sense. Okay? But the, the point I wanted to get was... Uh, Thy name. Now, the heathen hear of thy name, and they don't get excited. They hear they hear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they think they it's fearful because that's the power of Israel. That's the that's that's the name. That's the power that's going to deliver the Israelites and and destroy them. So, like the scripture says, um, uh, Malachi one and fourteen. But curse be the deceiver which hath in his flock a male. And voweth and sacrificeth unto Yahweh a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, said the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So Solomon's saying, basically, when a stranger hear thy name and rejoice and get happy and pray to you, answer his prayer. But the Lord said, my name is dreadful among the heathen. What's, what do they got for dreadful? Yerah. 
fear, dreadful, terrible. All right. Now, when you go to uh, when you go to uh, Ezekiel, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter. 40, let me see, all right, Ezekiel chapter 44 and 9. It said, Thus said the Lord God, No stranger, uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. But we just read earlier about strangers being with the children of Israel. So what, so what is that saying? That saying... Uh, uh, a heathen, all right, a, a, a heathen, because a heathen, now to be circumcised in flesh is to get the foreskin, get your foreskin, uh, you know, cut off or whatever, right? But to be uncircumcised in heart is to not, is to, is to, is to not obey the statutes, laws, and commandments of the Lord, and they, and they wasn't given the statutes, laws, and commandments of the Lord, so they'll never be, they'll never be circumcised in heart. So the so the so the so the uh so the uh the heathen will never enter into the sanctuary of the Lord, okay. <laughs> so this is uh Deuteronomy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna read some commentary in my Bible. Right now, my Bible got some commentary. It says, First King eight. Verse 41 through 43, Solomon doesn't forget the people outside Israel who seek the Most High. When the Most High mercifully answers the prayers of foreigners, it draws those from other nations to be God of all nations. While the temple was in Israel, it was always intended to be a house of prayer for all nations. Isaiah 56 and 7. The first century temple included a court of the Gentiles where the nations could come and pray. The violating of this principle makes... Now see, that's wrong. Now see, you read that. And that's wrong. It says Solomon doesn't forget the people outside Israel who seek the Mosaic. Who gonna seek the who gonna seek God? Who gonna seek the power of Israel? Israelites. So when the Israelite that's not living in Israel and he a foreigner, he's seeking the Most High. That's who Solomon prayed for. Okay, because you gotta you gotta. All right, I'll, I'll get into that later. It says when the Most High mercifully answers the prayer. Let me see. I gotta get this quick scripture because. I can't remember if it's in the Apocrypha or not. You got to understand, like I read the Deuteronomy 7 and 6, the Israelites got a higher, got the highest, well, we'll let the scripture say it. Hmm. This is Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 15. Uh, this the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and his his that his grace and mercy is with his saints. So that grace and that that mercy that my Bible commentary was talking about, when it says when God mercifully answers the prayers of foreigners, that's the that's the his saints. So who we read uh, Psalm 55, gather my saints together, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. We read in, um, in um, Deuteronomy, the covenant, the Lord avouched us to be his people. And then the, the Lord made us above all people. All right. So uh, Wisdom Solomon 4 and 15, this the people saw and understood and not. Neither laid they up in this mind that his grace and mercy is with his saints and that he have respect unto his chosen. So the Lord, we his favorite, basically. And even within, even within Israelites, it's a it's a it's a it's a hierarchy within that. You heathens, you other nations, if you if you not a you don't descend from the, the bloodline of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, then you got no place in this thing, man. So it says, uh, now let's go to that Isaiah 56 and 7 that it talked about. Because it quoted Isaiah 56 and 7 to, for that nonsense it just said. 
Now this is a uh, I'll start at the top. It says, Thus said Yahweh, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord. Now, now how is that possible? Can't no heathen join themselves to the Lord. That's talking about an uh, Israelite foreigner. Because you got, all right, I, I keep, I'll say that point for this for the next scripture. All right, saying, the Lord hath utterly separated me from his people, neither let the eunuch say, behold, I am a dry tree. All right. For thus said Yahweh unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that please me and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also, the sons of the stranger that joined themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and take hold of my covenant. How can a stranger take hold of the covenant? He have to be an Israelite. He have to be a part of it. A covenant is a, a covenant is a law and an agreement. It's like a binding contract. Okay? If I got a contract with another individual, what place do you have in it? This is a contract between me and this individual. How now how you getting some how you getting some of my money? How you how you come involved and get what's belonging to me? A th you a third you a third party that it don't got nothing to do with okay that's that's the Israelites and the most high we have a contract and all you other nations you a third party that has nothing to do with it and the Lord is fair because although our people been scattered into other nations and and, and forgot and the Lord is still fair like look but if you come back to me that's what he's saying you was a stranger but you got the opportunity to come back. Okay? It says, uh, verse 6, Also the sons of the stranger that joined themselves to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and take, taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted unto mine altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. It says, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua the Most High, which gathereth the outcasts of Israel, said, Yet will I gather others to him beside those that are gathered unto him. So that's saying like, oh yeah, it says all people is all people of Israel, man. Because the Israelites are what? Scattered amongst all people. If the Lord was for all people, he wouldn't redeem the Israelites out of the nations. Like the scripture says, he have redeemed us out of these nations. Why he redeemed the nation as well? It says, the Lord which gathered with the outcasts of Israel, yet will I gather others to him beside those that I gathered unto him. Because at one point in time, it was the... Uh, it was the it was the separation between the, the you had the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, and the southern kingdom was still joined unto the Lord at a period of time. They had they had righteous kings and wicked kings, and they would go back and forth. But the northern kingdom was not. They had the Lord had already forsook them, but they were still Israelites, so they still had an opportunity to be back, to come back, okay, to come back and serve the Lord because they Israelites. So, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 30, starting at the top. It says, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have said before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations which the Lord thy God have driven thee. So we're going to be driven amongst all the nations. We were driven amongst all the nations. We are amongst all the nations because that's what the Bible said. Okay. So you become strange. You for, through through process of time, through generations, you forget that you're an Israelite. You don't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. You don't dress like an Israelite. You don't fit the typical description of an Israelite. So that's who that's that's who Solomon, King Solomon, was praying for, and um, in um, First Kings the eighth chapter, and shall return unto Yahweh thy power to return to something. That means you have to have been there before. All right. 
We were the Lord's people. The Lord cast us off from being his people. So by, by, by coming back to him, we return. We his people again. You heathen nations was never his people. So you can't go, you can't go some, you can't return to somewhere you've never been. It says, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and, we, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. Okay? If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee and from thence will he fetch thee. Okay? So... That's the point, all right? Uh, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Only salvation is only for the Israelites, all right? You can't, uh, the, the Bible is like, a, is, like a, is like a Rubik's Cube, all right? It's only, one, it's, only, it's, only, it's only one way, like a puzzle, you know? It's only, it's only one picture is painted, and it's clear, and that is the Lord is for Israel, Okay? And these scriptures, these scriptures we read proved, proved it. All right. Now, in and nine, then you read something, you come across, it's, it might say, oh, the strangers or in this nation. You got to understand we were scattered amongst all people. Like the scripture says, you were Gentiles. OK, as you were carried away to these dumb idols, because we forgot, you know, we, we forgot and we fell away. But, you know, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.